let's talk about the big story from the deal space. US-based software firm eBix is looking to expand its Indian online travel kitty. And this time, they have their eyes set on India's leading travel services company, Yatra.com. eBix has offered to buy Yatra online for $336 million. The offer is at a 84% premium to Yatra's closing price on NASDAQ last Friday. Bugda Warrior caught up with Robin Rena, the chairman and CEO of eBix, to get a sense of how his company was going to accommodate Yatra in their ecosystem. We're trying to build an ecosystem in India, a complete end-to-end -end financial exchange, and the bid to acquire Yatra is a step in that direction. We already are the largest financial exchange in India. Uh, we consider travel a very integral part of building this ecosystem. Today, we conduct uh, in excess of two and a half billion dollars of GMV, uh, gross merchandise value on our travel platforms. So we own uh, a number of brands, Via, Mercury, and Zelius on our travel portfolio uh, already. The acquisition of, uh, possible acquisition of uh, Yatra would give us another one and a half billion dollars of uh, possible GMV, increasing our GMV to four billion. Uh, Ultimately, it was about accretion for our shareholders. It was a win-win. Uh, we thought uh, if we offer 85% value, that 85% uh, premium that we did, uh, it provides a substantial premium to the existing Yatra shareholders. And from our perspective, we inherit $150 million of revenue. We believe post synergies, we get around 30% operating income, and that translates approximately to 25 to 30 cents of diluted EPS for our shareholders. Yes, and Mr. Robin, this is a big premium that you're offering. How positive are you that this deal will go through? And I know it's a little early, but have you heard back from Yatra on this? Well, I think uh, all I could say at this point is that, uh, you see, uh, I can't speak for Yatra, so you'll have to ask Yatra that question. I can only tell you that uh, I feel fairly good about it uh, based on the fact that uh, it's, a, it's a rather generous offer. Uh, we uh, feel it's a win-win for both sides. Uh, so I expect, uh, I'd like to hear a positive response, but I'll, I prefer that you ask Yatra this question. You've made multiple acquisitions over the last couple of years, uh, several acquisitions in the travel space as well. You know, uh, what can we expect going forward? What, what else are you looking at? We are, a, we are a big believer in Mr. Modi's making in India movement, and we're big, uh, we've uh, put our money where our mouth is. Uh, before Yatra, we have invested close to 700 million already. So if, after Yatra, if this acquisition goes through, we would have invested, uh, you know, somewhere close to a billion dollars into India in the last two years. Um, and having said that, uh, we we're going to be always opportunistic. We're always going to look at uh, the right sectors. I I think as you look at us, we have a few niche sectors identified already. Uh, we are at fairly advanced stages in certain areas in those sectors, uh, but I couldn't talk more than that as of now. So if your question is, uh, do we have a few incomplete uh, sectors uh, to go after, the answer is yes. Meanwhile, Yatra has confirmed that it has received a proposal from eBix. The company, in a statement, has said, and I quote now, consistent with its fiduciary duties and in consultation with its independent legal and financial advisors, the company's board of directors will review and consider the proposal to determine the course of action that it believes is in the best interest of the company and all of its shareholders. Company shareholders do not need to take any action at this point in time. But let's shift.